Hello everybody. Now it's later in the evening. I'm going to take a drive in the, in darkness to test the lights. And as we live in Norway, it's dark several months of the year. And if you live north, it's even darker for longer. And we have a lot of animals and stuff. Same in Sweden. So, so, so. lights are important. I know you can buy specialist built uh, LED light bars to mount on this car that I made. A that are specially designed for the battery electric uh, Hyundai Ionic. Anyway, I guess I have enough charge now, so just unplug and then we see if we can find some dark roads and test some lights and maybe get a coffee. This is some steep hills, by the way. This is just turn on the high beam. This wasn't all that impressive. Sorry, no cat. So really just no beam. High beam. No. Can't say that I'm impressed by this. behind me now though, so maybe I'll just let that pass somewhere so I don't get uh, any slides disturbing try and get a clean take of this after all uh, somewhere there are paddles paddles uh, there should be this is an old discussion and going around Here. If you should mount the paddles on the steering wheel or if you should mount them um, on the column. I haven't driven sports cars in a while, so I've forgotten, but here they're mounted on the steering wheel, which means they're following the wheel around as you twirl it around. And when you need the paddles the most, at least the way I use them, is in the name of car, there's the other cars out there now. Go away. Um, into turns, into roundabouts, and so, and so on. You um, look now, for instance, just freewheeling down there, click, click, you're braking, you're just using the pedals. But if they'd been mounted on the on the column, they're a bit stationary, so you always find them. When things are moving about, it's a little bit difficult because things are never, t t to paraphrase, um, Jeremy Clarkson as he was testing the Ferrari for what, 488, 450, something like that. Uh, the one with all the buttons on the steering wheel. When the, the, the buttons always move around, so you never can you can never find them when you actually need them because they're never where you left it. And that's sort of how I feel against this thing. It's 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 never um, they're good and they're very handy. I get used to them very quickly. Um, but when you're if you, when you're in the middle of a maneuver, it's sort of slightly they should, be, they should have been stationary. But again, a minor niggle. Um, the lights really aren't that good. I mean, the, the uh, running, the low beam, low beam is very good. But the high beam, I don't know why, but it isn't nearly as good. good look at it. Not that bad. Well, not that bad actually. It could, have been, it could have been better. When you have the intensity of the low beam, you expect the high beam to follow, and they really they don't. They're not. They're much better than in the soul. They're actually. They're much. They're. 
at the match and probably average, maybe a little bit better than average. But they're not as good as I expected them to be. One of those people who are fiddly when it comes to light. It's important that they want it to work. Sorry, uh, part of this criticism of mine, uh, I, I, have, I have to say, I haven't checked what the uh, equipment level of this car is. So I don't know that. I haven't checked, but maybe I should have done that before I started criticizing the car. So, What I can verify though is everybody probably heard this car is being very efficient, and it is. I'm not the most efficient EV driver in the entire world. I mean, I use this car as a car. I run the climate control, as I'm sure I've mentioned before. I run the, I use the, the accelerator if I need it. You know, like this car, I put it in sport immediately because I think it's um, more, more pleasant that way, more comfortable. Uh, and even, even now, it's been running, I've been doing some um, highway, highway high speed runs that have been 110, 115, but, um, maybe 120 kilometers uh, speed on the cruise control. I must say the adaptive cruise control on the auto and the lane holding is very, it's, it's, it's nice to have. And, uh, and I've been driving 120, uh, between 110 and 120 on the highway and I've been doing some city driving and it hasn't, it's just stayed on 13.6 kilowatt hours per, per, per 100 kilometers all day basically, it just started off and it stayed there uh, no matter what I do with it, which is surprising I uh, hope you find this, f f found this interesting if you have been, thanks for watching Goodbye.